Hi students, how are you all? I hope you are fit and fine at your home. Today we are going to learn the remaining part of the previous chapter that is the earth and the graticule. In the first video we have learned imaginary lines and angular distance. Now today we are going to do an activity and then we are going to learn the parallels of latitude okay if you want to learn parallels of latitude we have to do an activity first so without wasting time let's get started with an activity observe the activity carefully okay and while doing the activity yourself follow the instructions given on the page number second okay are you ready so let's start students now we are going to do an activity given on the page number 2 do it yourself first of all i will read the instructions with the help of instructions we have to do the activity use figure 1.4 for the following in the upper portion of the circle, at the center x, draw angles of 20 degree, v1, x, k1, and v2, x, k2. k1 and k2 being the points on the circle, draw an ellipse joining k1 and k2. In the lower half of the earth circle, mark angles of 60 degree and name the point on the circle as P1 and P2. Draw an ellipse joining P1 and P2. After the activity, you have to answer some of the questions given below the diagram. Okay? So first of all, we will do activity by considering these points. Okay? So let's start with the activity. Students, you need to follow the instructions and draw the figure. In this figure, circle is given. The circle is divided equally with the plane of equator that is V1, V2 and X as a center of the circle. First, draw a line from the point of surface of the earth that is k1 that forms 20 degree at the center of the earth and same line from the other side of the circle that is v2 x k2 now k1 and k2 are the points on the circle draw a ellipse that joins K1 and K2. Now in the lower half of the circle, form an angle of 60 degree as above. And name the points on the circle as P1 and P2. Now join these points by drawing an ellipse. Have you done students? Ok. Now, give the answers of the following questions. Are the distances between K1, K2 and P1, P2 the same? See the distance students of K1, K2 and P1, P2? Are the distances same? No, the distance is not same. Now, Compare the distance x k1 and x p2. Are these distances the same or are they different? Yes, the same. Now, compare the ellipses you have drawn. Both the ellipses are parallel to one another. Which is the larger ellipse and why? 
K1, K2 is the larger ellipse because we are dealing with a sphere. Have you understood student? Very good. Yes student, how was the activity? Yes? Okay, very good. See now, with the help of this activity, we are going to learn parallels of latitude. So, if you want to understand the pa parallels of latitude, we need to consider the figure which we have drawn right now. Okay, without wasting time, we will move forward towards parallels of latitude. Okay, watch it carefully and try to understand. Now students, we are going to study parallels of latitude. If you want to understand the parallels of latitude, we must understand the activity that we have done just now. So, I would like to mention the activity here. I would like to tell you about the activity here in short. Okay? So, listen it carefully. In the earlier activity, you must have understood that the ellipse, ellipse means oval circle, drawn by joining the 20 degree points is larger than the ellipse that joins the 60 degree points and the distance is x k1 and x p2 are the same. The reason behind it is we are dealing with a sphere. Students, you need to understand that the lines that appear to be ellipses in the diagram of the globe, they are circles. As we know, the circles thus created at some angular distance from the center of the earth are parallel to one another. So, they are called parallels of the latitudes. Latitude means the angular distance of a place north or south of the Earth's equator, usually expressed in degrees and minutes. The degrees of parallels are measured from the equator as shown in the figure. So, the equator is considered as zero degree parallel. It is the largest parallel and a great circle. The angular distance of the parallels toward north and south goes on increasing away from the equator. Yes student, have you understood the parallels of latitude now? Okay, and have you enjoyed the activity? Okay, very good. So, today what we have learned? We have learned the parallels of latitude with the help of the diagram. Okay, and now the remaining part of the chapter we are going to study in the next video. So be connected for the new video. Okay. Yes. Till then. Be at home. Be safe. Thank you. Be connected for such new educational videos.